So a lot of people ask me, Steve, how do you get better rates for us from the carriers? How do you negotiate them? Full transparency, the best way to negotiate rates and get start a relationship with these different carriers is to always, always, always give them the most information possible, be timely, follow their processes, ask them directly for help. Don't second guess things. Do what you say you're going to do. And they'll literally move mountains for you. I mean, the, some of the reps I've worked with, an example would be Cigna. They were absolutely amazing. We had a client transition, actually one of our first client transitions from a PEO provider to Cigna. And they were absolutely phenomenal. When we had questions on the carryovers, me as a broker, I had access to folks internally that they just moved mountains for us. When we needed help explaining the bill to the client and they had questions that I couldn't answer, I gave them a call. I communicated to them, hey, I want to make sure that I articulate this the right way. So they hopped on the phone and they gave me support. Now, that does require a little bit of extra time on our end, right? You have to be open minded, right? You have to communicate effectively and you have to also like want to well, you have to also understand like what their boundaries and what they can do versus what you can do as a broker. So as long as you're like open, you're honest and you're willing to learn and you communicate what you need, like that's what really builds the relationship. Because over time, they start to trust you as a provider because you're also doing what they ask you to do. And they know like, hey, if you made a mistake or, hey, like this company is getting a bad rate, what can we do? Well, hey, we know that this person's representing the group the best way they can. And they're giving us all the information that we need will help this broker out. So nine times out of 10, when you're negotiating these uh, these rates, especially like in large group or level funded plans or sometimes with the PEOs, it really has to do with your relationship with the carrier. And do they trust you as a fellow business partner?